news, my lovely, wonderful people. Court don't make decision on the matter. We bring you up to speed, say, where say our brothers, Air Rufai, that is Kaduna State Governor, um, Yahaya Bello, Nakogi State Governor, say they take the matter, go Supreme Court, say, why? Nigerian governments no one obey Supreme Court where they say where say may they leave the uh, old naira until suit until suit is divided or decided. So this morning, fifteenth, they don't go uh, matter. They don't go where yeah, they're supposed to go. Say may we go understand the matter. Now what did the apple be this? So not forget and what did the apple be this? So Supreme Court now don't look the old matter. Say where say it is time to forge ahead. It is time to make things work. It is time for things to begin to take shape. So as we speak, so things don't become how you, more than you can imagine. Yes, things don't become more than you can imagine. Supreme Court now don't make uh, make decision. They say the old night regarding the old naira. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. The Supreme Court on Wednesday adjourned the case. On the new on the Naira swap policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria till February the twenty second for hearing of the consolidated suit by ten states. Seven other governors have joined Yahaya Bello of Kogi, Erufai of Kaduna, and Zamfara State Governor. Politics Nigeria report that CBN had originally fixed January the thirty first. As the deadline for the old Naira, for the old Naira swap, Kogi State Governor, Zamfara State Governor, as well as Erufai approached the Supreme Court seeking that CBN that CBN be restricted going ahead with the deadline. Wednesday hearing led by Justice John Okoro had the governors of Kogi, Kaduna. And, and others respectively in attendance. Other states, namely Niger, Lagos, Kanu, Ondo, Ekiti, had also applied to be joined to the suit against the CBN and the federal government. Justice Okoro stated that the Apex Court would not lose sight of the case as it affects all Nigerians and we are all in touch with what is going on with the people. We will look at this case more intensely by the we will look at this case more intensely by the 22nd of February to give a determination. Pending then the old Naira still remain relevant and illegal tender. We must allow the people to be able to deposit and use it as a legal tender pending when the court, the Supreme Court, make a final decision on this matter. Nobody should take laws into their hands, as this is very important. So, my people, you can see for yourself that the Supreme Court has stood up in respect to, you know, this case. Seven other uh, states have joined uh, Kogi, Kaduna, and Zamfara to say that this is grave injustice against the people and cannot be allowed to continue. So this is part of what is happening right now. And every single one of us can see that it is it is what it is. And so if we want things to change, every single person must begin to apply honesty as a watchword in terms of uh, ensuring that the people do not suffer needlessly. Now, there is no problem in them trying to, you know, change the Naira. However, it's the way they've gone about it. There is no problem at all in the you know in trying to swap or change the naira, but it's the way they've gone about it. That's where the true the true problem lies at the moment. So every single one of us must continue to look at things more critically and ensure that at the end of the day, we put things in line to make this country a better place. You are swapping naira; people cannot assess it. Did you not produce enough? You are swapping Naira. People are hungry. People cannot assess their money. The, you, have not, you did not think it through. You went ahead and you say there should be a new uh, currency. It's not a problem, but you did not think it through. And it is evident because we can see for ourselves. We can see that you made a huge mistake 
you may not want to admit it. You may want to pretend that um, you did something worthy of whatever, but you know your heart of heart that you have made a mistake. And it is it, the, the most amazing thing there is people doing the wrong things with confidence. You have done the wrong thing and you are confident about it and you're unapologetic. It's, it's shameful. Honestly, it's very shameful. You have done the wrong thing and you are unapologetic about it. Excuse me. Who do you think you are? People can't even assess their money. Their own money that they work for. They can't assess it. They can't. So what did you do? What did you achieve? Is it because this thing you want to do, we know that you want to you want to ensure that uh, you know those who are holding the naira do not have access to be able to hold the naira, and that uh, there is it's all played fair and square. You you it was a brilliant idea, but wrong timing, no proper planning, it showed up in all of this. Wrong timing, no proper planning, it's just visa clear that you did not think it through, that you guys. You have messed up, but you don't want to admit it. It shows pride. Mm, it shows pride. When somebody failed and is pretending like he did not fail, the resultant effect of such an individual is called pride. Yes. Because when you admit that you did something wrong and you make amends to correct it, it shows that you are a humble person. But when you do not see it, that you have done anything wrong, excuse me, Excuse me. What do we call you? What do we call you now? What do we call you? What do we call you? You made a mistake. You knew you've made it. You, you know vividly well, correct, that you have made a mistake. Why not admit? Why not admit now? And just say, I'm sorry. We did not quite plan it well. Uh, we understand and so for this reason, we understand that they also want to ensure that the elections, uh, people do not. But again, you should have considered it properly. Probably you should have started this Naira redesign since June of last year. Then end it January 31st. I believe nobody will be, will, be, will be on your case by this time. But again, I understand that your purpose of trying to ensure that those the deep pocket do not do not have a way them because by then they would have successfully transferred their money but there are ways to to ensure that you hold those people in. where are the security agents they are dual, they have dual responsibility answering for those with deep pocket and those with uh, those who do not have the money leave us a comment god bless have a fantastic day for most is bye for now